Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Mega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics Episode 1. Uh, this is Mega Aquarium. We've done a little mini series on this earlier, but Fish wa Fresh Fishwater Frenzy. Freshwater Frenzy, the newest D and greatest uh, DLC, is out now, and it has added some things that has changed up the uh, the gameplay dynamic. the The most prominent and the, well, the part one that's part of the title is Freshwater Fish, but there are a lot more things that they've added that can uh, allow you to have a more nuanced strategy out there. Uh, there's also been an addition of a few new achievements. Now, normally I'm not an achievement hunter, but I think the one of these new achievements is the perfect excuse and the perfect goal for one of these series. So, um, most of the achievements are just simply beat missions in the campaign. That's easy enough, but I'm more of a sandbox type of player. Um, however, they've added three new... Um, uh, achievements to uh, sandbox mode. Um, one of which is the completionist one, which charges you with choosing the quick start um, uh, option here and getting every single, uh, unlocking every single animal available. Now, everything is available, but we need to have enough ecology to unlock them all. Uh, we also need to, uh, we only start at level 7, we need to get all the way to level 12 in order to unlock everything. Uh, so it is going to be a, a bit of a thing. Also, it has to be done on hard or hard difficulty mode. Um, so we are going to do just that. Um, for our seed, uh, let's go with um, Fish Biscuit. Why not? So if you want to play along uh, and you want to use the exact same seed, um, then there you go. Now, the seed is kind of important because the um, uh, randomized availability is on, which means which fish are initially unlocked um, is going to be different uh, depending on which seed you use here. So let's dive right in. Okay, so... One of the aspects of hard difficulty mode is that uh, capital expenditures, well, staff expenditures, are more expensive. So we need to be a little bit more strategic and tactical about how we build out our initial uh, aquarium because we got to get ourselves good and profitable and get our uh, science and ecology rolling in um, toot sweet. Um, now, one of the newest things, besides the freshwater things, that they have added, and we get to play with them right off the bat here, is the posters. I love the posters. So these little things seem kind of humble at first, like, okay, a little bit of prestige, a little bit of science, but for 1200 bucks, what's, what's the deal here? Here's the thing, though. These things get more and more powerful um, the, the more of the various requirements you meet for them for the tanks that they're attached to. The ecology poster gets stronger with every unique species in the tank that it is attached to. And the science poster gets stronger for every care requirement, every unique care requirement that's uh, in the tank attached to it. So we can exploit this to make these objects rather powerful. Uh, so let's do exactly that. All right, let's give ourselves a little bit more breathing room here. Uh, we don't want to go too crazy, but we do want some we do want some breathing room here, at the very least. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. Well, let's see what we have. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we have as far as fish goes, because going for a mixture of different species, like what we we definitely want to plan out our ecology poster um, and get the most different species together that won't just flat out kill each other. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, we. Um, we uh, we can we can so we got we got four freshwater species available to us and uh, a good host of uh, of um, uh, saltwater species here too. But it's not too uh, not too shabby in, in my opinion here. I think I think we can make uh, make some good use here. So I'm looking to add our ecology tank um, to be our uh, uh, saltwater tank here. Now one thing that you can um, you can, you can, uh, well, a good strategy is what I call an ambassador tank. And this is, this ties into these posters. 
Um, normally, you you kind of want to fill up a tank with many multiples of the same fish to increase the chance that people can will enjoy the fish when they view it. Like if we just had one of these Arabian blue line dotty backs, there's only a 37% chance that any random Joe or Jane show, showing up to the tank is going to gain the three prestige that this fish is worth. Um, and, you know, so that's that's no guarantee. There, there's going to be a lot of people that are just flat out not going to see this fish uh, and you'll lose out on some prestige. So normally you want to load up on a whole bunch of fish. However, um, an ambassador tank it sw uh, swings it a little bit different. You, you want basically only one of every species in it. Um, and, you know, so yes, there'll be a smattering of prestige to be gained from people viewing the tank, but the real benefit is from the poster. You can make another tank with a bunch of copies of this fish in it later on um, if, if you really want. Um, that way you can, you can, you have a chance of being seen here on, on this, but if they come across the specialized tank with lots of copies of them, they'll get them anyway. So you can sort of have a belt and suspenders mechanic here. So let me, let me show off here. Uh, so let's go with a, uh, I'd say a deep wall tank. Um, couple of things to note here. Um, as far as ideal tank sizes, you want to pair those up with some of the uh, uh, sort of the numbers that your um, various different filters and heaters and whatnot can um, do. Notice how there's a recurring number here, 90, 90, 90. All of the larges, the vanilla larges, um, will rock out a 90 power. So being able to hit a, you know, heat a, a size 90 tank is actually pretty easy, but a size 95 tank is going to be a whole world's more of a pain in the butt. So you're going to want to factor that in when you're building your tanks. So let's go with a deep wall tank. Now they can go as large as 112, but I don't want 112. I want 90. Um, or as close to 90 as we can get. So look at that, 84. That's that's pretty good. Yes, there's a little bit of a of an excess waste if we go for the 90s, but I don't think that's going to be too bad going for the 84 and, and filling them with 90s. So bada boom, bada bing, and that'll be plenty of a, a good sized tank uh, to let us do what we got to do here. Um, right then, so. We've got this tank. Let's move. Actually, scoot you back a little bit just to give people room. We're also going to want to uh, build out a, uh, a little hallway here. Actually, we might as well just do this bottom row here. Get a staff door in here so our staff can do. And we can put our machines and our feeding things back here. People don't like to look at machines. They don't like to look at the feeding boxes. They don't like to look at the at the stuff that goes in the background. They just want to see the fish. So we put that behind a staff door and nobody will complain. All right then. So now what we can do here, let's start filling up our tank. Uh, this is again, this is going to be our warm water ambassador tank, and I think we're going to go for the ecology poster here. All right, so um, the Azure, um, one of these. Boop. Yes, I know, it's going to say, yeah, it, there's no good. We want to put all the fish in there, and then we can start loading up the tank with the actual requirements. Um, now, one thing you do need to keep in mind is each fish have individual requirements and sometimes you can't always put the same fish in the same tank. Like this, this guy right here is a wimp, uh, cannot be housed with a bully. This thing down here is a bully. However, this fish is much more prestigious than this one. So I'm okay for going the wimp, um, if it means being able to include the bully in the tank. Now, the, um... Normally these these shoulders are not really good fits for your um, ambassador tanks because you need you need to have multiples of the same fish but since they're only size 3 this only is going to take up tw a total of 12 I'm I'm willing to do that to include them 1 2 3 4 they're also pretty cheap um the royal grandma we can absolutely get one of you uh and then yes the arabian blue lion dotty back one of you Let's keep going down the list. We want to put in one fish of everything that we can get our hands on. Uh, so the reef squirrel fish. Now this one's a little bit more iffy. You need four of them um, and they're size four. So 16 points worth of fish. That's that's getting a little bit iffy. Not to mention, 
Uh, we have some corals down here that want lights, but those are definitely really good. Um, and these guys do not like lights, so we can't really have the corals or that, but I'd rather have the corals than these guys, because the corals are twice as prestigious. So we're going to skip the reef squirrel fish for now. We can, we can put them in other tanks. Uh, panther grouper, yeah, they're going to eat the small fish. This is a small fish tank. We do not want predators in here, so no panther grouper. Now the zebra moray eel, he eats other things, but he eats crustaceans. He doesn't actually eat fish. So we can actually safely toss a zebra moray eel in here. Um, boom, like that. Uh, common starfish is a cold water. This is a warm water tank, so that, that's right out. We do want this daisy star polyp. Um, so that should be good right there. Uh, we are going to need to get um, the super lights on this, on this tank here. But we can stick one of you in here. We'll, we'll get to the lights when we actually start outfitting the tank with what we what it needs. Um, and then frilled anemone is a cold water thing, so that's about all that we can fill this tank with, which is still not too bad for a starter tank. Now, the piece de resistance um, here, the ecology poster. So now we build one of these. Uh, yeah, right, right here is pretty good. Hook it up to the tank. And now... We have six different species, so so um, everybody who visits this poster will be getting 300 points of ecology for us, which will help us unlock other fish quicker, uh, but also have a chance to give us uh, up to six prestige. So this is like a fish in of itself. Uh, and the more different fish and, and other species we cram into this tank, the more and more powerful this ecology poster gets. All right, now let's uh, actually outfit this tank so our fish and, and various things don't die. We are going to need... All right, so once again, we're going to go 90, 90, 90. So not, large heater will take care of the heat requirement. Um, then we need a large filter. Uh, that doesn't quite do all of the filtering. We need to get to a 75 water quality, but that's where the protein skimmer comes into play. The protein skimmer um, will give you additional uh, pure water purification, but it's only effective in so much as you have a, um, points of basic filter. So if we had, say, a, a 36 point power filter and a 90 one of these, a whole chunk of this is ability would be wasted. So you want to start with the filter and then, you know, double it up with the protein skimmer so 90 90 and people are happy okay now we need a little caves um, I will not begrudge them a little bit of caves um, a simple driftwood cave will uh, satisfy their requirements and now lights I have a feeling these are going to be expensive because power lights are the cost it says 225 but the cost scales to the size of the tank yeah, 2,366, so eh, quite a significant investment here, um, but I think I think it'll be worth it in the long run. All right, we need a, since this is a deep tank, we need a platform here. Uh, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll put you up here, get you there. All right, now we need three types of food, orange pellets, mussels, and plankton, easily done. We want these nice and close by. Uh, let me think of the best. You generally want them like within easy access here. So orange pellets, um, mussels, and plankton. Oops, that's not it. We are also going to need to make sure we buy a tool station to fix up our things. Uh, that should be good at the moment. Now, let's see if we can't get another tank going. We've got about 5,000 bucks to our name before we open up here. Let's see, let's see if we can do another thing. So, I, again, I like the whole uh, deep wall tank set to 84. I'm just going to do one right over here. Like that. Um, even if we just set up the, the, the bare shell of a tank, like we don't put the fish in just yet, but we can get everything else going. Um, and I think the, the other thing that I was looking at here, and uh, we have freshwater here. Now we only have three freshwater fish, so this would be terrible for an ecology poster. We also don't want to double up on the ecology posters because too many posters and people get sick of reading them. Um, so we definitely want to just keep that in mind. 
now that being said, we've got a lot of different care requirements. You know, rock lover, care, cave lover, um, shoulder, uh, open space. Like there's all sorts of little fussy bits about these different fish. And that actually plays right into the hand of the science poster. The science poster will will give us um, will become more powerful based on the number of different care requirements. So even if we only have uh, three fish in here, um, we can get our science poster to be really powerful because these are some really really freaking fussy fish. Um, the question is, can we afford them and to care for them? Well, let's get the fish themselves in place. Um, Actually, let's get the bare bones basics. Now, one of the other things about um, freshwater tanks is you cannot use um, protein skimmers on them. Um, protein skimmers just flat out don't work. So you have, it's a little bit trickier to get their filter power up. So we're just gonna go large heater, because uh, they do still need to have warm water. Large filter, um, but yeah, we're just gonna need more raw filters uh, if we're gonna go with any higher than that. All right, let's see here. Um, so these guys need one or two or six or more, but you can't have more than 50% of the tank. Um, and we do not have the large enough tank to be able to hold six plus of these guys. So we're just gonna go to go for two. And yeah, as soon as you put a freshwater fish in there, boom, freshwater tank. Now the blind cave tetra here, we need three or more. That's not too bad. Um, they are bullies, but there are no wimps among these fish. Actually, this guy's a bully too, and two bullies is fine. The bullies will will are, are won't be bullied by each other. Uh, oh, the other important thing is this is uh, they, these all, these guys all like neutral water. They do not like uh, acidic water, so that's a good thing when sharing a tank. So let's get one, two, three blind cave tetras. Now for the tinfoil barb, these guys also need uh, three, which is fine because we're not we're not really doing an ambassador tank here. Uh, we want people to have a good chance to see these fish without having to dedicate a whole new tank to them. Uh, they also need a two by two bit of open space, which is fine. Uh, they also need a twenty four a minimum size twenty four to swim around in. This is a plenty large, so one, two, three. All right, let's get them their uh, requirements. We can get the science poster later once we have some money to afford it. We also want to make sure we can buy their food. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We'll go for some uh, corkscrew valves. Uh, an Amazon swad. And then caves and rocks. So we will probably yeah, a rocky overhang will give us both cave and rock power here. Now, I think one of these guys nibbles on the plants. Um, and so we need to... Yeah, we need more. We need to overwhelm the plants. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start just by buying the... Um, we'll be buying the food stuff and then we can overload the plants once we get a little bit more money in here. Taking it down to the wire, but that's okay. Um... What do we need? So we need vegetables, cockles, and bloodworm to feed these three. We might as well put them over here. Uh, vegetables dispenser. And um, bloodworm. And, well, you might not be able to afford the cockles. Yeah, but with our first couple of purchases, uh, first couple of guests, we'll be able to get that. All right, we're going to need at least one uh, person here. Ooh, feeding, fixing, cleaning, uh, an all-rounder here. Um, I do want someone with a higher fitness uh, so that they can get around, um, especially for feeding. That's the fitness is actually pretty, pretty important here. Feeding, fixing, but low fitness. Feeding, but a higher fitness. I'm okay with this. We don't have any tricky fish and you're cheap. All right. Now, yes, we also need to worry about the guest accoutrement. We'll, we'll, when we get our initial batch of people coming in, we'll be able to get that in there. We're probably going to need a, uh, we're going to want to obviously hire somebody um, once we have our, uh, once we have more people coming in. Um, 
uh, once our once our first machine needs to be fixed, but that's okay. We can just wait for that. Now, now that we're starting to generate some ecology, we need to start researching our next animal. Now we have animals across the ranks here. So essentially what we want to do is just go down, you know, start the low hanging fruits and which species will fit in on our, in our ambassador tank here. This thing's fine because it's a small fish. Um, so, and this thing will be quick to research. Uh, so we might as well go for it. And that way we can add another species to the tank and then that makes the poster more powerful. Um, all right, what scientific thing? I usually like to go for the, uh, um, the stuff that lets us um, sell things for profits just to get more money flowing in, especially since this is hard difficulty mode. Speaking of money coming in, we have enough for that cockles um, so that we can properly feed the fish. All right, so see, they're looking at that poster. They just generated a whole crap ton of ecology for us. And boom, that unlocked the uh, orchid dotty back. Awesome. All right, let's see it rank two. All right, you don't like lights. This tank has lights, can't do that. Yellow Tang, however, is perfectly peachy for this tank. Um, and I think this new... Um, Let's see, the Orchid Duddy back is, yeah, you're only 60, so toss you in there and boom. Now, now this is worth 7 and 350 ecology. So it just becomes that much more powerful. And yeah, look at that, one person's view in the sign, we just got this big chunk of, uh, of um, ecology done for us. So these, these, these signs can do us some wonders here. Um, now the other thing we want to keep an eye out here is, yeah, these, these deals and offers. A flame angel fish, um, stony corals, that's actually, which actually should be fine. Um, oh yeah, dislikes con specifics. Uh, this is actually the perfect type of fish for your, uh, ambassador tanks because they don't like being with others of their kind anyway. So you meet that requirement anyway. Um, I think, let me just make sure our coral is not a stony coral. You want to be careful of that. Nope, it's a soft coral, the daisy star polyp. So the uh, angelfish is actually pretty fine. 189, it is a deal. And like, and just like that, we've got ourselves eight different species. Oh, and we do need a little bit of, uh, we need some more plants. Um, yeah, kelp should be fine. That'll give us two. We also need to buy a um, thing of green pellets, uh, which, I mean, those are pretty cheap. I just need to get a couple more people in the door and they'll be fine. All right, there's our yellow tang. That was quick. Again, it doesn't go so quick when you get start researching the higher ranking fish, but still. <laughs> All right, yeah, the black bar soldier fish, not so good. Uh, let's see here. Well, we already got the flame angel fish. We don't need to research another one. Um, the red tail butterfly fish also does not bother us, so we can get over them. Um, how much is the green pellets? 135. We just need one more person to come through the door and we'll be fine. There we go, green pellets are go. All right, folks, I think this is a good start of things. So our, our aquarium is still a little bit barren uh, and we still actually want to uh, save up for that um, uh, thing. Red tail butterfly fish. Uh, we have to wait for the moray eel to the thing and we're already researching this thing, so I probably won't take that. Guppies, yeah, nibble a bull. We have a nibbler in our freshwater tank, so they can't mix in here. Also, he's a wimp. Uh, guppies are wimps and we have two bullies in there, so that would not be good. Royal Grava are our favorite. Ooh, well, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Good chunk of cash for some of these guys. 2000 bucks and we just need to get three more of those in there. That's fine. We can always, we can always sell the excess to make room in the tank once it gets large enough, but for the time being, heck yeah. 
And now with that excess money, we can actually afford our science poster for our other tank. Uh, so let's get this bad boy going here. And look at this thing. 10 prestige, 500 science. Why? Because there are 10 different unique care requirements. Shoulder, bully, cave lover, rock lover, greedy, nibbler, plant lover, active swimmer, open space, and plant destroyer. These, these fish are a handful, but the science poster is rewarding us for that. Uh, so the, now we have two pretty darn powerful posters here. And this ecology one's going to just get even more potent as we add more and more species to it. So this is a good first start to our aquarium, especially since we can get a lot of bang for our buck. Okay, now, now uh, um, I think this is a good stopping point for our episode. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!